Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a section D question from statistics chapter. An age-wise list of number of literate people in a block is prepared in the following table. There are total 100 people and their median age is 41.5 years. Information about two groups are missing which are denoted as X and Y. Find the value of X and find the value of Y. So let us understand this given table first. So a survey is being done in which the number of literate people in different age groups is being listed. So for example, the number of literate people in the age group 10 to 20 is 15. Similarly, we have to find out what is the number of literate people in the age group 20 to 30 that is given as X. And why is the number of literate people in between the age group 50 and 60? So we need to find out over here x and y that is number of people and the hints they have given over here is so total 100 people were surveyed so the total frequency of people is 100 and the median is also given which is 41.5 years so first of all since median is given let us try to find out the cumulative frequency so here i have redrawn the table and i have already written the cumulative frequency so it will be easy for me to explain now in this cumulative frequency, the first frequency remains the same. So here if the frequency is 15, cumulative frequency is also 15. Now from next row onwards, it starts to accumulate or accumulate. So here 15 adds up with x giving you 15 plus x in the second row. Now for the third row, 15 and 12 add together. That is 15 plus 12 gives you 27 and x stays the same. So we get 27 plus x. Now 27 plus x adds up with 20. So basically the numbers will get added up. So 20 plus 27 gives you 47 plus x. Now 47 plus x adds up with y giving you 47 plus x plus y. Now 47 plus x plus y adds with 8. So numbers will again add up together. 8 plus 47 gives you 55 plus x plus y. Now the last thing is 55 plus 10 gives you 65 plus x plus y. Now once we have done this step, we are going to make use of the total frequency which was given in the question. Here total frequency is given as 100 people. So here our total frequency is going to be equal to the last column of the cumulative frequency. So total frequency was 100 equal to 65 plus x plus y. So taking 65 on the left hand side or 100 minus 65 that will give us x plus y is equal to 35. So let us consider this as our equation 1. Now once we have done this let us move on to our next step that is I have taken the same table over here for easy reference. So in the question the median age was mentioned as 41.5 years. So from this let us find out what is the median class. Now 41.5 lies in the class of 40 to 50 because 41.5 lies in this class width. So here we are going to write the median class as 40 to 50. Now once we have got this, let us make use of the median formula. Median is equal to L plus N over 2 minus CF over F times H. Now let us understand what each letter means. So here the small L represents the lower limit of the median class. Now this is the median class which we got 40 to 50. So the lower limit is going to be 40 for this class and the upper limit is 50. Since we need the lower limit for this formula, we are going to write the lower limit of the median class as 40. Next, n is the number of observations or the total frequency. So the total frequency was given as 100. So let us write here n is 100. Now CF in the formula stands for the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Now this was the median class that is 40 to 50. So the cumulative frequency of 40 to 50 is 47 plus x but we need the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class that is before 40 to 50. So the cumulative frequency over here is 27 plus x. Next F is the frequency of the median class. Since this is our median class, the frequency of this class is 20. So we are going to write here 20. Next, H. Now H represents the class size. So assuming class size to be equal. So basically the class size tells you the upper limit minus the lower limit. So it has to be equal. So here we get all the class sizes as 
10. So let us write here this is equal to 10. Now the next step is substitution of all these values in this formula. So here we have already substituted the values. So L is 40 plus N over 2. N was 100. So 100 divided by 2 gives us 50 minus the cumulative frequency of the preceding median classes 27 plus X we have written over here divided by the frequency was 20 times the class size is 10. Now in the next step we have simplified this equation that is 10 has divided the 20 10 1 times is 10 and 10 2 times is 20. So we get here 40 plus 50 and minus multiplies with 27 giving us minus 27 and minus multiplies with plus x again giving us minus x divided by 2. Now once we have got this let us simplify this equation that is 40 plus 50 minus 27 gives us 23 minus x divided by 2. Now let us take a common LCM that is 40 over 1 let us write it this way and since the denominator is 2 let us try to get a common denominator. So we will multiply 40 with 2 and 1 with 2. So we get here 40 times 2 is 80 plus 23 minus x. Now we have a common denominator which is 2. Now 80 plus 23 will give us a value of 103 minus x divided by 2. And the median age was given in the question as 41.5. So we have substituted it over here. Now the next step is 2 multiplies with 41.5 giving us 83 is equal to 103 minus x. Now taking minus x on the left hand side and 83 on the right hand side we get x is equal to 103 minus 83. So here this gives us the value of x as 20. Now since we have got the value of x let us try to find out the value of y. Now for that we are going to make use of this first equation which we had got that was x plus y is equal to 35. Now here plugging in the value of x that is 20 plus y is equal to 35. Now taking 20 on the right hand side we get y is equal to 35 minus 20 or the value of y is equal to 15. Which means that the number of people in the age group 20 to 30 who were literate were 20 and the number of people in the age group of 50 to 60 were 15. Hence we have got the value of x and y. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.